What's up guys, I am Ryan with Full Send Hockey. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be going over defense basics. Even if you play offense, you still have to learn defense because, well, you're just gonna end up playing defense during the game. Here's the thing, if you guys allow five goals, then you have to score six to win. But if you only allow one goal in, then you only have to score two to win. And that's a pretty higher odds of winning, only having to get two goals. So with that being said, let's get into the basics. So first thing you have to remember is your role. Your role is to play defense, not offense. So your goal is to stop them from scoring. This means don't jump up every single play, stay back, play defense, only jump up when you have an opportunity to score or really help your team out, but just be smart and make sure you stay back and play defense, because that's your job. Next is positioning, and this is really important, because if you're in their way, it's gonna be harder for them to set up, take shots and score, so you really wanna keep them in front of you, and you really wanna push them to the outside against the boards, because that way it cuts off the angle for the goalie, and it's harder for them to score. How you do this is you just be just very slightly, just, just a little bit more in the middle, and this will allow the side to open, this will get them to go over there, but if you pinch too hard to the middle, then they're just gonna wheel around you like it's nothing. So make sure you stay in front of them and skate back hard. Try to match their speed. Don't go too fast, don't go too slow. You have to slowly let the guys come together. And that's when you can work on the next one, which is your poke check. So this is really your main tool on difference. This is your weapon. This is how you're gonna stop them, all right? So the best way of doing this is to keep your stick close to you with two hands on the stick. This way they can't see quite the distance that you have and the reach you have. So when they get close, you can push off with both arms and then extend your reach with your back end. So this way you can, you know, reach farther. And this will help out a lot, but make sure you don't just push like too hard and be out of control. You have to have somewhat control and be able to pull your stick back because you're gonna miss at times and you need to be ready to recover. So the next thing you're gonna have to learn is how to block shots. If you're not blocking shots, then you're just a disgrace on defense. I don't even wanna talk to you. All right, but really like you need to learn how to block shots. It makes a huge difference. It's gonna stop so many goals. So the biggest problem I see is people standing right in front of their goalie. That is the worst thing ever because you're screening your own goalie. So that means they can't see the puck. You wanna get close to them as close as you can. You'll eventually be able to read where they're shooting at and just try to get in the way, keep your feet together. Cause if your feet are apart, that means they can shoot through your legs, which will also screen your goalie. So keep your legs together. And that is your best way to block shots. There are also some other ways so yeah, go to one knee. This is kind of sketch and roller because we don't wear full pads, so it does hurt, but it makes a huge difference when you really need to make sure you block that shot. So another way is to lay down in front of shots, but this is more of like a desperation move. This is when you're, no way you're gonna be able to block it. So you just sprawl out and just eat that puck and it's gonna hurt, but you gotta take one for the team every once in a while. Just uh, make sure you're laying down and your legs are towards the puck and not your face. It seems pretty obvious, but I've seen people lay down with their face in front of the puck and it's bad, let's just, it's bad. So continuing on, you have to learn how to play the body. So if they beat you on a dangle and you just have to kind of step into them and not let them pass you. It's different in roller because you're not allowed to hit. So just make sure you get in their way and just kind of let them skate into you. This will prevent them from going. And then normally from there, you can kind of just turn around and grab the puck or just push them more away. Just don't push them too much because then that's interference. And you have to learn how to do this on the boards. So when they're on the boards, make sure you go there Get behind them, pin them up against the boards, get in there, get your stick in there, get your skate in there, anything you can to try to get that puck out and dish it to your teammate. So the last thing you have to work on is something you have to work on for the rest of your life. You have to be good at skating backwards. You have to be good at transitioning from skating forwards to backwards and vice versa, being able to transition in turns and just overall, just be a strong skater on your feet, not easy to knock down. If you guys want some extra tips to help out on skating, I made a video about five skating abilities every player should know. And that's gonna be linked down below and also in the card up above. I don't remember which side again, so just click it. Well guys, those are some skating techniques that you guys all have to learn. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys get out and play some hockey, implement these techniques, and I will see you guys later.